Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here, and we are back in Imperion. All right, guys. So we are at a UCH research ship, getting ready to go do some stuff. I think we are finally, 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 finally. And I know it took a little bit, but we finally got a ship that I feel big enough and safe enough in to actually go out and explore a little bit further than we have been. And uh, I think we're going to go start the uh, Object 82 stuff. Let's see. Do you have any exploration missions? Yes, we've got Object... Ooh, we got strange statues, too. That's cool. Let's go ahead and do the Object 82. We're going to do that first. Let's see, we discovered a mysterious object in the rogue system. We do not know much about it, except that it's of progenitor origin. Go there and investigate it. I can place a bookmark on your galactic map for its location. Yes, please give me the bookmark. I've added a bookmark for the rogue system where Object 82 is located on your galaxy map. You can view it on the galaxy map bookmark tab or search the rogue system on the galaxy map in the case the bookmark does not show up. Okay. So, that is the beginning of our little journey here. So anyway... Go ahead and hop back into the ship. Now, I haven't really had a chance to go back and look at comments, so I don't know if anyone's thrown out any name suggestions just yet, but I am waiting to uh, to hear from everybody to see what kind of things we are being given. Um, let me see here. Where are we? Rogue, right here. No. That is not what I said to do. I said the rogue system. There we go. So anyway, now the ship is completely decked out with one exception. I forgot to grab food. I forgot to grab food. I say that I do have nine ration packs on my dude and... There might actually be some more ration packs stored away somewhere on the ship because I have a tendency of, like, you know, squirreling away ration packs in different places. So you never know. I might have more food than I actually let on to. But as far as fresh food, yeah, we're a little low on that. So I'll have to look into it. Okay, Object 82 is out there. So let's go ahead and... Let's go down to Object 82. I really like how all the guns on the top of the ship just kind of light up. I really like that. That's fancy. Fancy, fancy, fancy. I really like how it looks. Okay. And we are here. Go ahead, switch over to this. All right. All right, guys. Well, it's going to take me a second to get in here. But we are on our way. I'm liking the uh, intersecting asteroid rings here. I think that's a pretty nice little touch. Very nice, very fancy. I kind of wish that there was like some ore in here that you could mine. Like get it all the way down in like the really tight cluster bit right there. That way you can't, uh, well I mean you probably could, but it'd make it difficult to get like a big, big, big ship in there, you know. You'd have to come in with an SV or, you know, something like that in order to fully mine it. Go ahead, head off in this direction just a little bit. Almost in render range. A couple more kilometers. Now, while we're going in there, do we need to do we need to start anything? Is this like there's nothing there? It's not under research. Uh, it's not under that. Yeah, okay. Let's 
Interesting. Very, very interesting. Ah, there it is. Object 82. Oh, it was here. Then it was gone. What happened? Now it's back. It's, it's phase technology. That's what's going on here. A little phase technology. Alright. Now the question is, is where do we need to go? Can I fit? Ooh, we can fit. Haha. -ha. Inside we go. Am I sitting on it? I think we're sitting on it. Yeah, we're pretty much sitting on it. Okay. Well, let's go out the front and let's see what we got. Got a little glowy dude right here. We got some pretty high radiation. Uh, do I have my light on? No, we did have our light on. Okay, so I'm not really seeing anything right here. Did I come in through the wrong side? Are we like... Oh, here we go. What is this? Ah, there's the little console. Alright, subspace link destination coordinates. 273-12-300. System name Zeratol. Status of, ob of subspace links. Object 1, 13, 42, and 276. Okay, so does this one do something different? Or does it tell me the same thing? Um, subspace links coordinates 273-12-300. Okay. We need the progenitor key 3 to get through that. Interesting. Alright, let's fly around over here. Let's go to the side. Okay, here's another one. Let's see what this one has to say. This one says subspace link 271 12 300 Zeratol object 113 42 276. So it says the same thing. Okay, so I'm thinking that it probably says the same thing all the way around. Let's go ahead and hop back into the ship. Go ahead and hit up the shower facilities. Wash a little bit of that radiation off. There we go. Now we're clear. Now let's go to our map. And we need to search for Zeratol. Is, it, is that how you spell it? Zeratol. Maybe tall was O-L. Zera. Mmm, okay, hang on. Did I, I must have got the wrong, I must have got the wrong spelling here. I didn't pay much attention. I'm a bad speller. Okay, let's get over here, let's read the thing, and then let's get back in the ship. Z E Z E R E. Okay, that that's what it was. I misspelled it. Sorry. Z E R E. So it's two E's. All right. So. Back to searching Z E R E Zeratol. Right here. Show it on the map. Okay. And let me go ahead and let me put. I don't know if I want to put a waypoint on there or not. Let's just put show on map or show on HUD. So let's see. Territories. Zeratol is way over here. Okay, so it looks like we are going to have a super, super, super long voyage ahead of us. Now, I'm probably not going to do this all in one sitting here, guys, because this is going to be quite a bit. But we are going to head in that direction. And, 
you know, we're going to try to see if we can't get some stuff done. So y'all give me a little bit and uh, we'll see where we're at when I bring y'all back. So give me a second. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, so we are getting closer. Actually, it wasn't as bad of a trip as I thought it was going to be. I thought we were going to have to do a whole lot more, but apparently not. So I've already got a whole bunch of Pentaxid cooked up here for the journey. So I got that. I got a little bit of stuff. We are, let's see, is there anything in the system that is worth looking around at? That's an exploration site. Uh, that is another sun. That is a sun. Okay, so we're in one of those triple triple star things, whatever it is. I know there's a term for it. I just don't remember what it was. Okay, so that's a syndicate space station. Unfortunately, we are not friendly with the pirates. So, see, we do have a Polaris over here. And then we have a Polaris mining site. Let's see. Polaris has claimed asteroids in this field. Gravimetric anomalies, blah, blah, blah. Hmm. Okay, well, I mean, I could stop and do some mining, but I don't think we're going to do that. I think we're going to keep on pushing, and we're going to try to get the first part of this done, because, see, we're just right there. We're already, see, Xerax territory is way back there, so we're going to just kind of move forward a little bit, see if we can't, uh, oops, I did not mean to do that. I clicked the wrong thing. Can we make it? 58.4. We can make that jump. That is doable. Okay. So, Zeratol, here we come. Okay. So, it's another one of those weird little... Sun, star, anomaly, whatever weird clouds. That's kind of like how Mavis had. Okay. A sun observatory. Wait, what? Hold on. Just just out of curiosity, because I normally don't go to these, but since this is like a different play field, I think I'm going to go check this out real fast. So I'm going to pause it here. We're going to get over there just in case it's just a satellite. I don't want to waste the next five minutes traveling. So give me a second. We'll be right back. Okay, guys, we are back. We are coming up on this sun observatory. And let's see what this is all about. Is this just one of those little satellites or is this something different? It looks like a satellite. It does look like a satellite, but I'm going to stop and look at it. Because I don't know if we will... Yeah, we've... This looks pretty much like those other ones that we found. Uh, but we're probably never going to come back here. Or at least I don't think we are. I don't know if there's going to be another mission back here. So as far as I know, this is probably going to be the only time I'm out in this area. So I'm just going to go ahead and check it out while we're here. See if we can't get the goodies out of it. If there is goodies. There is like goodies, yes. Maybe there's not goodies. Um... Back here, maybe? Ah, here's something. Here we go. Alright. Ah, uh, yeah, this is one of those hacking deals. You know what? I'm going to try it just to see what happens. Access granted. Oh, nice. What do we got? Report has been exported. Economic data. Check for more reports. No further reports are available. Okay, so... Reports and data can be traded in at... Info hoarder GIN console or local broker's note pricing may vary and trading in reports might not be without risk. Hmm. Well, considering that's just like an economic report, I don't know how much of a risk we would actually have there, but you know, if there is, it's okay. It will be okay. Okay. Now back to the thing okay so we've got an object one is where we got to go to now a 
Let's see. Let me make sure I didn't accidentally. Uh huh. Get rid of that. Okay, so it looks just like Object 82, or at least the uh, play field does. All right, guys. Well, I guess I'm going to cruise on in here, and I'll bring you all back as soon as we get a little bit closer. Okay, so here we go. This looks a little, little bit familiar, but at the same time a little bit different. It's like Object 82, but it's not quite as big I think yeah I think it's yeah this most definitely is smaller oop we ran into it nose check we're here all right so what do we got here uh, we've got a code it says 37 times 14 times 12 equals Okay, guys, so it looks like we're going to have to do a little bit of math here. Uh, hang on one second. Let me let me get a calculator going. Actually, you know what? I got my phone right here. I can just bring up the calculator on the phone. Let's see. So 37 times 14 times 12 equals, and it says 6,000. 216 okay so that is interesting so what do I do do I I flip this and then it's 6216 correct haha -ha, we did something okay now I'm gonna assume there's another one yep there's another one 12, 15 in binary code Hmm, 15 in binary code. Okay, um, I'm going to be honest. I do not know what 15 in binary code is. So I think I'm going to have to go to Google and we're going to have to figure this one out. So y'all give me a sec and I'll be right back. Okay, that was like super weird. Uh, apparently when I alt tabbed out of the thing, it like crashed the game for some reason. So 15 in binary apparently is... 1,111. Correct. On to the next one. So what do we got here? The answer to life, the universe, and everything multiplied by 100. That one should be easy. That would be 42. And then by 100 would be 4,200. Thank you, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Yes, got to love that movie. Got to love it. And then finally, code equals hexadecimal 142F. I don't even know what that means. Hexadecimal 142F. All right, guys. I'm going to have to give this a shot. We're going to have to see what happens. So give me a second. I'll be back. All right, guys. And Google pays off once again. That would be... Five one six seven. Oh, we blew something up. What happened? I broke it. It did stuff. Is it up here? Ooh, we have a hole. Ha ha. Come down in here. Let's see what do we got. Subspace link destination coordinates one eighty six minus or negative eight one fifty four. System name Prina. Subspace link status inactive. Key status available. Activate subspace link and take key. Prina. Okay. Uh, subspace link has been activated. Key and associated data has been retrieved. Subspace link will only work for users who have personally activated it. Ensure all users activate the link. Okay, Prina, P-R-E-E-N-A-H. Let's see what we can do here. Prina. No, it smacked us.
All right, so let's search. P R E E N Prina, right there. Show on map. Where are you at? Uh, that's Prina. Hold on, that don't look like Prina. I was about to say, that is like completely different here. Okay, so let me go ahead and I am going to show that on HUD. Because I would like to see that. So we are in the middle of Polaris territory, it looks like. Okay. We'll go ahead and back out of that. So we've got to go and we've got to find Polaris territory. So we've got to go in this direction. Okay, now the question is, is, is there a path straight over here? Hmm. I can reach that. Hold on. Yeah, okay. We can get over there. We just have to kind of skirt around that little edge right there, I think. So, that should be good. That should be easy enough. Right. What do we got here? We've got subspace calm, a nat sat, and a calm sat. And yeah, we're just going to keep on going. All right, guys, I'm going to pause it here, and I'm going to keep on traveling. We're going to see if we can't get into Polaris territory, and I'll bring you all right back. Okay, guys, we are at Object 13 in Prina, and we've got some more questions. This code is 1234. 1234. Gotcha. That was easy. Maybe they'll all be this easy. This code is double what the code to the left is plus 763. So, let me see. Let me just bust out the old calculator here. Let's see. 1234 plus 1234 plus 763. And we got 3,231. 3,231. Aha. Awesome. Next. The value of this code is the code to the left minus the code straight across. Okay, the value of this code is the code to the left minus the one straight across. Okay, so the one to the left is the 3,231. 31 the one straight across is this one So we just okay minus one two three four and that is 1997 I don't know if I'd say 1997 was a vintage year or not, but you know it was crazy. I vaguely remember things Boom, got another one. All right, and the final one. This code is the sum of the three other codes. Okay, so we've got... Uh, we've got 1997 plus 3231 plus 1234, and that should give us 6,462. 6,462. Yay, we did math. Oh, and just so y'all know, every time we do this stuff, we do get uh, keys and stuff like that. So just keep that in mind as well. You do get goodies from this. Okay. Subspank. Uh, subspank. Uh oh, we're getting subspanked. Subspace link designation coordinates, blah, blah, blah. Kung 
by you. Kumbaya. Okay, let's go ahead and activate and take the key. Back to Maine. All right. Kumbaya. Could it be Kumbaya? No, it had to be Kumbaya. All right. Let's see. What did we get in here? So we've got a second key. We've got another one of those, another one of those. And it looks like those have doubled as well. Very, very nice. I'm liking it. I'm digging it. It is going, things are going. So this is one easy way to get some navigational data, I see. All right, well, let's get to the next one. Let's see, search for system. Kumbai, ah, there we go, Kumbai U. Show it on the map. Oh, we are over here by Xerax again, okay. Uh, yeah, show it on the map. Okay, guys, so we are going to be heading back towards Xerax territory. So, y'all give me a little bit, and I'll get right over there. Okay, guys, here we are. We are at the next object. Let's see, what do we got? We've got... More math problems. Raven must enjoy his math. I wonder if he was a math professor. All right, hold on. Let me clear out my calculator here. Got all these different things on it. All right, 765 times 5. And I just got radiation. 3,825. Hold on. 3,825. Do that. And before we go any further, it rubs the cream on before it gets the radiation again so next we've got okay okay got a little bit of a bigger math problem we've got 27 plus 52 plus 87 minus 13 plus 999 Plus 245 plus 8 plus 88 minus 2 equals 1,491. Yay, I'm aft again, thanks to my nifty calculator. All right, convert from convert from binary. First digit of code 1000. Second digit of code 110. Third digit of code 1. Fourth digit of code 100. Um yeah, this is going to be just a moment here cuz I'm going to have to we're going to have to rely on good old Google for this one. So hang on, guys. Okay, guys, let's see if we got this one right. Let's try 86, 14. Ah, we got it. Nice. All right, next one. Raven, you make my brain hurt. Okay, second through fifth digit of pi. Okay. So pi is... 3.14 uh, so that'd be 14 is it 15 or is it 25 oh I don't remember uh 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 hey god let me look up pi jump on google Three point one four one five. Okay, so it is one five. Yes. Haha. -ha. The next one has been blown open. All right, let's get in here. Oop. Get in here. All right. Activate subspace link and let's take the key. All right, we've got that. 
Okay, so we need to go to Leisha. Leisha. All right. Well, let's go see where Leisha is. Where's my ship? Are we underneath it? Oh, there it is. All right. So we're going to go ahead and run this one just a little bit long here today, guys, because I'd like to get it all done in one episode. So I know lots of cuts today. All right, back it on up. Let's go to the map. And let's search for Lee. Sha, Lee Sha, right there. All right, show on map. Way, way, way over here. Okay. Except. Uh, yeah, like. It's only 424 light years away from my current position. So, yeah, so we're going to have to somehow. Ooh, we're going to have to get way out here. Okay. This one, this one might take a minute, guys. So. I'm going to pause it here and I'm going to start warping. So that's a good thing. I got a lot of warp fuel here and we can jump big distances. So, yeah, we can't make that jump. All right, hang on and we will be right back. Okay, guys, this should be the last one. Okay, we've got more math. Okay, so we've got 25 times 32 times 0.75. Times 13, 7,800. Oops, wrong one. Okay, that's the first one. So what do we got here? Can, oh, not another binary one. Oh, I gotta love these binary ones. All right, hang on. Okay, guys, let's try this. 93.71. That was it. All right. First four numbers of the atomic mass of lithium. The atomic mass of lithium. Okay, hang on. Okay. So that would be six nine four one. Bingo. Next, we've got code twenty two thousand or twenty two million ninety four thousand one forty one. Okay, so we've got a math code. Let's bust out the calculator here, and let's see. We've got twenty two. Zero nine four one four three divided by one zero one two one. Okay, so that equals two thousand one hundred and eighty three. Two thousand one hundred and eighty three. Got it. All right, activate subspace link. Okay, subspace link has been activated. Key and associated data has been retrieved. Subspace link will only work for users. Back to main menu. Uh, go back to the rogue system. All right, guys. Well, I think that is awesome. So we've got all we've got all four keys, right? Yep, one, two, three, and four. We've got eight flawed data chips. I got four navigational data. I've got four large optronic bridges. I've got four of these small matrices. Uh, I think that's awesome. That is awesome. All right, so let me get back to object 82 and we will continue on from there. Okay, guys, we are finally, finally, finally back at object 82. It took forever, even having those increased warp drive range. Oh, it still took forever. There were so many times I had to backtrack because I just could not get to it. Okay, we've opened with progenitor key three. What does this do for us? A 
switched a lever. I switched another level lever. Oh, there's a glass. Okay. So we've opened this one, so I guess we've got to fly around and open the other doors then. It's all right. It just, you know, one big, huge structure. No big deal. No big deal at all. I'm in. Okay, nothing appears on that. Okay, that's the third one. And now on to the fourth one. Here we go, number four. Turn that on, and what happened? Whoa, what was that? Something happened. Wait, how? Wait, huh? Hold on. Did I get turned around? Okay. It must have, like, lagged out for a second. Okay, do I go up top now? I would assume. Whoa, we tripped over something. Yes, there's a hole. Aha. Uh -huh. Into it we go. Wow, that's what we've been waiting for. Okay, so we could have went top or bottom on this. All right. Progenitor interface. User Disturb Z has activated all subspace links required to access this unit. Status of subspace links. Active, 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 active. Okay, retrieve data. Data chips and recovered items placed in user's inventory or connected container. Okay. see what we got here so we've got yes an epic heavy armor even though we're wearing an ep a durable epic heavy i'm still okay with having this as a backup uh <laughs> let's see we got exploration data more exploration data we've got two small matrices two large matrices we've got 10 nav data total we've got two pristine data chips we've got eight flawed okay See, unlock, let's see, research, that's 10, uh, so that's 10 a piece, so that's like 20, and then those are 5 a piece, so that's 40, so yeah, that's 60. Okay, well, good. We have got some stuff. Um, what are we supposed to do now? Hmm. Do I talk to this thing? No. No, things... All right, guys. Well, that is the first part of this, I guess. I think there's something. Um, I well, I know there's something else to it. Uh, I know we've got to collect that information, the uh, the 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 stuff that they just gave us here. So, me and everyone else on the server are working together as a team to try to obtain a thousand terabytes of data so that is my 60 that i've just acquired that i'm going to add into the pile so that is that is there that is done that is great so i'm gonna have to start finding data caches and everything else in order to uh help get this unlocked but you know another 60 points is that much closer but anyway, guys, that is going to do it for today's video. There you have it. We did Object 82 from the beginning all the way to this point. Um, I guess this is considered the end. But like I said, we've got to get this data. We've got to do some more stuff after that. So we probably got to go back to a UCH ship and talk to them. So that will be for the next video. But 
that will do it for me today. I do hope everybody has enjoyed today's video. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome, and I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.